Good day everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Munich. I just came off filming some U-Bahn stations in the northern part of Munich and I dropped by this area here because they are new streets. I'm right now at the northern edge of the Euro Industrie Park and I will tell you something about the quarter over there when we get there. So let's get it on. And enter the Henny Seidemann Straße, which is opened brand new, not that long ago. Here, where the trees are, used to be a big fence. No, not a constructional fence like this one, but a real fence. Because the aerial we are walking in right now is a former military facility, the Bayern Kaserne. This was given up by the army quite some time ago. And there were a lot of discussions in the city of Munich. What do we do with this aerial here? Finally, they decided on a development plan and the development is going on. Right now you can see some new houses over there, some new houses over there. I think the house back there should be residential, but I'm not 100% sure. Some buildings will be residential, some will be industrial, and the complex you see in front there, the one right in the middle, I just walked by there, this is a new school complex. Yep, we are doing everything for the kids, at least we try to. In the meantime, still a lot of construction going on. Another house is coming out of nowhere right here. And I'm pretty sure there will be more here on this side. And there will definitely be more on the other side here as well. Right now the construction workers have their uh, temporary homes right here. Yeah, good for them, they don't have to walk too much or commute in the city into the city they can stay right here uh, because most of the construction workers come from Eastern Europe so Poland Romania Ukraine Bulgaria something like that I have no idea where they are come where they are from mostly they are from Eastern Europe let's have a look at this development site in the former military facility I think this looks pretty good this house not too bad. This, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is residential because there are already some balconies on the upper levels used. Eh, might not be the cleanest time or the most quiet time right now in order to live here. But yeah, they are the first ones, the first people that moved into this new aerial. Like when I moved into the new development where I live, I also was among the first ones that moved there. There was some dirt, there was some noise, some construction, but at least I had a home, which was the most important thing. And uh, right where we are, already mentioned northern part, and where we are, I already mentioned, we are now north of the Euro Industrie Park. Large uh, grocery shopping and uh, general shopping district in the northern part of Munich, right by the Ingolstädter Landstraße. The next U-Bahn station is Kieferngarten, which is over there behind these buildings. It's about one and a half kilometers away from here. The Allianz Arena is only about five, maybe four kilometers away from, from here, so not too far. So if people that live here want to go to a match from the FC Bayern, they can walk there easily and walk back home. Because I was at a match not that long ago, the way to the stadium was comfy, but the way back home was not so comfy. The U-Bahn was so crowded. Yeah, of course, 75,000 people storming out of, the, out of the stadium all at the same time. This was an adventure. And I had the nine-year-old kid with me, Malte, son of my ex-wife. He enjoyed it quite a lot, but it was a task taking him safely back to my place where he spent the night. Because it was so warm, so crowded in the U-Bahn, that was not, not a lot of fun. Anyway, back to the Bayern Kaserne. The house is here on the left hand side. Yeah, I think this could be office space and residential space combined. The second building, yeah, should be the same. Here to the right, where the red hill of clay is lying around, I am 100% sure they will fill this space as well. 
it will be very, very interesting. I think I will have to come back here at least one more time, maybe twice. Yeah, definitely, because this street is opened brand new and there will be more streets to be opened in the future. And I like to walk every street in the city of Munich. That's what I made my task via city strides. It's a lot of fun, but it's also a lot of work. And yeah, as soon as they open a new street, I have to come and collect it. So the next building, right beside the yellow and blue crane. In the construction phase, there are balconies, so I think this will be residential space as well. Maybe mixed with uh, uh, grocery shopping, maybe some other shopping in the lower levels. Will be interesting. It's not as impressive as it is in Freimann. Have a look up in the corner to see a part of this new development. But it will be fascinating, at least, here in the former Bayern Kaserne in the northern part of Munich. I will continue now on the street. I hope I can take a left turn because this is the street I wanted to collect. And then let's see what happens. We'll make my way back towards the south and see where I will end up with. Okay, the former Bayern Kaserne development area. First look. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and see you soon back in Munich. Until then, have a good time. Goodbye.